continuing these measures all after there have been eight Qassam rockets fired by militants from Gaza into Israel. Today, one of those Qassam rockets hit a school where students were taking exams. Luckily, there was no one killed, but the government is evacuating residents from that area. And as you mentioned, Bill, at the top of this newscast, there is, in fact, warnings coming from Hamas. They have confirmed to Fox News that they will be threatening uh, the suicide bombing attacks into Israel. The last one was in August of 2005. We haven't seen more suicide bombings in Israel, largely because of a barrier that is in place and also because of Israeli intelligence has been so successful in foiling the possible attacks. Bill, I'll send Good it back report. to you. Yeah. The twist. Hamas then began shelling the Israeli town of Stirot, two miles from Gaza. The apparent aim to provoke Israel into retaliating, hoping the warring Palestinian factions would stop fighting each other and unite against Israel. Now this is a real miracle. A rocket smashed through the roof, landed inside this tiny bathroom where a woman was having a shower, and she survived. Eighteen Israelis wounded. Children and adults are fleeing the town. A Qassam rocket landed on one of the classrooms at the Shah HaNegev High School near Zderot Thursday, while students were in the midst of taking their matriculation exams in classrooms nearby. The rocket caused significant damage to the structure and sparked panic among the students. Fortunately, most of the classrooms were empty this morning due to the decision to keep schools in the region closed because of the ongoing rocket threat. Meanwhile, all the students have been moved to fortified classrooms, but school officials are seeking a solution that would enable continuation of exams in the days ahead. Children run for safety seconds before a rocket hits the Israeli town of Sidorot. A number of rockets slammed into residential areas. Among those injured, Israel says, a mother and her two children. Palestinian militant group Hamas claimed responsibility. Avi and Limor Aflalo were next door when the rocket hit, blowing out the windows and doors of their home. They are angry that the government isn't doing more. It's impossible to live here. I don't know what uh, they should do. I know that I uh, need protection, and I, do, I don't get it. A rocket hits this town almost every day, and residents here say it's like playing Russian roulette just to live here. You never know when or where a rocket is going to hit. With the increasing violence in Gaza, the number of rocket attacks is also on the rise, and that increases the odds of something like this happening again. More than two dozen rockets have fallen in the Sederot vicinity in the last two days. Hamas has claimed responsibility even as it battles rival faction Fatah on the streets of Gaza. Israel fears the attacks are a Hamas ploy to draw an Israeli response and distract from the fighting between Palestinian groups in Gaza. On Wednesday, Israel used air power to strike back at Hamas, but insists it won't be drawn into the fight. We'll respond, but we won't be dragged by Hamas, by a terrorist organization. We're not going to do this on their terms and at their time. The town of Sidorot is emptying out. Families are leaving. The attacks continue. Sidorot's mayor is demanding tougher action. The answer is not to protect Sidorot. The answer is killing the terrorists. Israeli security sources say Hamas is gaining power and growing its arsenal of rockets. If true, and if these attacks continue, how long can Israel restrain itself? Atika Schubert, CNN, Sidorot.